being part of ATC program, uh, we have uh, possibility to uh, deliver training all, all the world. So the answer is simple, having access to all the world is the best way to <laughs> impact capacity development. Pertenecer a los centros de entrenamiento de la ITU en Perú nos ha dado muchas oportunidades en el sentido de que podemos aminorar la brecha digital, llevar nuevas capacidades, desarrollar nuevas capacidades, llevar eh, nuevos conocimientos a nuestro país y no solamente eh, en base a lo que estamos enrumbados, que es la transformación digital, sino también pertenecer a una organización que nos lleva a tener un impacto mundial. Para nosotros es una gran oportunidad tener estos accesos um, que nos permite eh, conocer, nos permite desarrollar y sobre todo eh, estar al tanto de la transformación digital en todos los sentidos. ITU ATC provides a very broad uh, horizon of uh, participants in our uh, training programs and we feel very uh, elated and excited to deliver uh, lectures, sessions and uh, imparting training to a very wide variety of um, uh, participants from all across the globe and this is a great opportunity and uh, I'm really excited to be a part of this meeting here because it is offering me enormous opportunity to network uh, and collaborate with other uh, ATCs, which would be very helpful in designing and planning and delivering the next training programs because we'll be exchanging a lot of experts. We see this as advantageous for us because what it does mean is it allows us to promote skills-based qualifications across the region. Um, in light of the fact that we are now moving towards looking at movement of persons uh, across the region, what we can do is enable our citizens across the entire of the Caribbean, which is the 17 uh, contributing members of CARICOM, to be able to improve their skills. Further to that, we're trying to ensure, from next year that is, that we are going to make sure that this, um, the qualifications attained here are part of our certified um, certification um, educational uh, university provision and what we're going to do then is we're going to make sure that this can operate as a prerequisite for an undergraduate or a postgraduate uh, qualification and of course looking at, at embedding these qualifications as part of our provisions.